they don't like this division and this partisan politics. Tension and excitement are amping up as longtime popular MP Suk Dhaliwal sets the stage for a political showdown. Who was once a political ally, now a foe. He's taking aim at Surrey Mayor Doug McCallum's leadership. The three time MP is running under the banner of his new party, United Surrey, and promises to freeze taxes for his first year and fast track development permits. We have accumulated wealth, uh, almost over $300 million. And we can use those that money that we have accumulated to make sure that we are able to help the ones that need the most by freezing those taxes. McCallum appears vulnerable and is facing a criminal charge of public mischief involving a member of Keep the RCMP in Surrey. However, his support in the last election was boosted by community members who called for a new municipal Surrey police force. Dollywall says he also supports the transition from RCMP to Surrey police. RCMP and Surrey police have to work hand in hand until the transition is complete. Sitting councillor Brenda Locke, who is running for mayor, is opposed to replacing the Surrey RCMP. MLA Ginny Sims, also in the race, says she'll take a detailed look at the transition, then decide. What makes this race exciting is just how unpredictable it is. With four high-profile candidates and a fifth possibly ready to run, it's a political contest in which every vote will count. Former White Rock mayor and former federal MP Gordy Hoag is rumoured to be contemplating a bid for mayor of Surrey too. Political experts say McCallum has the advantage in a crowded field. Hides the opposition to, to Doug McCallum even further, again giving Doug McCallum an easier path to, to victory. And again, I think uh, Gordy Hoag would have to distinguish himself from, from the other candidates that are running in opposition to Doug McCallum. Other than being different people, what are they actually going to do differently? Telford says the key for these candidates will be mobilizing their supporters to vote in October. Mira Baines, CBC News, Surrey.